Hi, let's talk about one of the most important skills and most important features of an electric unicycle, stopping. We're gonna see how the Sherman Max performs in this test. Follow me so you can find out how it did. Welcome to Max Wheeler, my name is Jacob. Today, in this video, I wanted to do a review of what would it take for me to stop in the veteran Sherman Max. So for this video, I did a couple of tests. I wanted to see the different type of speeds in the different space or, or time that I will need for it to stop. So first, I decided to do a, a test where I was cruising about 30 kilometers per hour and then simulate what I call an emergency braking or someone just run over you and you gotta stop. So the first one is at 30 kilometers per hour. The second one is gonna be at 20 kilometers per hour, just to give some idea of what will it take for it to stop. Let's see how I did and I hope you guys enjoy. After doing those tests, I was not pleased with all the information that I had. So what I did, I tried to do one of my maximum cruising speeds, which is uh, around 55 kilometers per hour, and see how would the Sherman Max react to emergency stopping. What I found is the following. Conclusion, I think that the Bethan Sherman Max is a very powerful wheel and that you need to be mindful of where you're using your power. Because as you can observe on my test, it takes quite a distance to stop from a high speed or from a regular cruising high speed, which is 45 to 55 kilometers per hour. So I don't know if I feel comfortable enough to speed up the Sherman in places that there are bicycles or people that can jump on you, maybe little kids, dogs. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and me doing this test. So don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next ride.